Hi boys and girls, happy President's Day. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying a great day off from school. So in honor of President's Day and all the President's birthdays we have this month, we're gonna be reading Looking at Lincoln by Maria Kalman. So in this book, we're gonna see a little girl and she's gonna be learning a lot about President Lincoln. That's the Lincoln Memorial, which is a real thing, a real statue you can find in Washington, D.C., the capital of our country. We're going to learn a lot about President Lincoln. So looking at Lincoln, it's President Lincoln with his famous hat. Take a nice look here. One day while walking through the park on my way to breakfast, I saw a very tall man. He reminded me of someone, but I could not think of who. At the coffee shop, I ordered pancakes. They were delicious. We paid with a Lincoln, that's a $5 bill, and two Washingtons, $1 bill and $1 bill. So wait, five and two are seven right seven dollars for breakfast um and then i remembered the man i had seen looked exactly like <gasps> abraham lincoln the man on the five dollar bill and you know george washington the first president is in the is on the one dollar bill abraham lincoln the 16th president of the united states who was he? I went to the library to find out. Abraham Lincoln was such an amazing man that there are over 16,000 books written about him. I wanted to read them all, but I got lost to photos in his, of his unusual face. I stared at one. I could look at him forever. Let's see. He was born in a small log cabin in Kentucky on February 12th, 1809. So that's more than 200 years ago. And he lived in Kentucky. Kentucky is one of the 50 states. The state we live in is Connecticut. And they're all part of the United States. The family was poor. Abe was a dreamer. He did not like to do chores. He loved to read. He was lucky. His stepmother loved him like crazy, and he adored her. She looked so stern, but she let him dream and read as much as he wanted. It's wonderful. He went to school for only one year, but he was curious and taught himself many things. Look at how cozy he looks reading. They had hardly any supplies and of course, no electricity. Remember, this is 200 years ago. They didn't have everything that we had. Abraham spent many hours reading by the fire's glow. One day he was kicked in the head by a mule. That's a mule. He slept for two days. Then he woke up and he grew up and decided to be a lawyer. He did like to argue. He lived in Springfield, Illinois. Illinois is another one of the 50 states. And he got a reputation as a smart and honest man. They called him Honest Abe. Oh, look at his wonderful family. And hey, he's still reading even as a grown-up. He had a family that he loved very much. His wife, Mary who was very short and four sons. They laughed and had lots of friends and even ran uh, around a little wild. Abe worked hard and became interested in the government. He decided he would run for president. And on March 4th, 1861, he was inaugurated president of the United States. On the day Abe was elected, I bet Mary made his favorite vanilla cake. But maybe he forgot to eat his slice. He was often too busy thinking to eat. And that's his famous hat. 
Lincoln wore a very tall hat. With his hat, he was over seven, or he was seven feet tall. He wrote many notes and stuffed them inside his hat. What was he thinking about? He was thinking about democracy, the Declaration of Independence, and the Constitution created by the founders of this country. He was thinking about freedom and doing good for mankind. And maybe he was also thinking about getting a birthday present for his little son, maybe a whistle or pickup sticks. What did he love? He loved his dog Fido. He loved apples. Cox's orange pippins, white pippins, wine sap, benoni. He always had an apple on his desk. He loved music. He loved Mozart, He's a famous composer, especially his opera, The Magic Flute. But mostly he loved people, his family, of course, but all people, and he wanted them to live well. He loved justice and truth. The country was in trouble and headed for war. After hundreds of years of slavery, people were saying, enough. There were courageous people who fought for liberty, like Sojourner Truth, and Frederick Douglass, who had been a slave until he ran away to the north. Both of them met with Lincoln and spoke of the plight of slaves. Lincoln hated slavery and wrote to a friend, if slavery is not wrong, nothing is wrong. During his presidency, he issued the Emancipation Proclamation the first official step toward freeing millions of slaves. Here, that's an old version of the American flag. Uh, now we have 50 stars for 50 states. But back then, they only had 30-something states around um, the time of the Civil War, so they have fewer stars. It was a difficult time to be president. The southern states, the Confederacy, wanted their own country where slavery was allowed. Lincoln said, no, we must stay one country. The northern states, the Union, believe that slavery should be abolished. That means they should make slavery illegal. And so they went to war. In the museum, I saw the uniform of one of the first soldiers killed in the Civil War. Here is a bullet hole at the point of his heart. There were 14 brass buttons on the front of his tunic. One was shot away. Thirteen brass buttons remain. The soldier's name was Elmer Ephraim Ellsworth. Terrible things happen in a war. It's very sad. The Civil War ground on. Lincoln went to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is another state. The site of a big battle. Thousands of soldiers were buried there. Many with just a number on their grave. So you could see 827. That's a gravestone for one of the soldiers. On that sad land, Lincoln gave one of history's greatest speeches, the Gettysburg Address. It was short, only 272 words ending with government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. The war finally ended in 1865. Almost a million people had been killed or wounded and the North had won. The people had suffered greatly, but now it was time to rejoice and start to rebuild the country with Lincoln leading the way. But it was not to be. After the agony of the war, Lincoln wanted to lighten the mood. He took his wife to see a funny play, and during the play, he was shot, murdered by a wretched man who did not want slavery to end. Lincoln had been rocking in this chair, and people carried him across the street to the home of a friend. He died the next morning on April 15th. 1865. He was 56 years old. The news spread and people across the land wept with grief for their fallen leader. But a great man is never really gone.
Abraham Lincoln will live forever. And if you go to Washington, D.C. in the spring, you can walk through the cherry blossoms and visit him. At his memorial, you can read the words he wrote near the end of the war. With malice toward none, with charity for all. And you can look into his beautiful eyes. Just look. You can visit the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. and see him. Have a good day, boys and girls.